So I've just come out of the apps and gizmos session where I was uh, billed as one of the gurus, but really I, I felt more like an observer than a guru, seeing all the wonderful things that people brought along for us to play with. And um, uh, another member of the audience, Nick Radlow, very kindly agreed to speak to us and tell us what he thought of the session. I'm Nick Radlow and I'm a journalist from London and uh, I come to IBC every year. I'm actually organising a report back on IBC in London in about a month's time. So you've just been into the Gadgets and Gizmos session. Um, what was your? Was it what you expected to see, for starters? Oh, absolutely. I was really pleased. It's a very lively session, and it showed us lots of really interesting kind of little things that people can use to, in, you know, to produce things in a different way. And some really interesting stuff, like the system you're using to kind of photograph me now, to film me now, is you're doing it on an iPhone, you know, with this special kit that kind of this guy has designed, kind of making it very easy for people to make professional kind of video at a very, very low cost. That's, that's you know, there are lots of uses for that. I want to have a go at it myself. So one of my fellow gurus up on the panel was John Block from ITV, and um, we stretched the equipment that we're using to make this mini documentary to the max because we had to extend the leg to its extreme height because John is a very tall lad um, but he very kindly told us what he thought of the panel. Brilliant demonstration from Barracorda whose technology I think you're <laughs> pushing into my face at the moment. Um, I thought it was really quite cool how they, they actually edited and then published the video within 20 minutes by the end of the session. Um, the augmented reality was brilliant, uh, so, so, so well visualised, uh, really exciting from an advertising point of view. And, you know, everybody's got smartphones these days. I could see it you know, making sense from a broadcast perspective soon enough. Um, and then the human brain interfaces, well, I mean, I thought, amazing. Uh, I, I, of course, we've got to wait for the market to be there before broadcasters are going to be interested. But, um, I mean, when it, when it involves just sitting in your seat and not even lifting a finger, I could very much imagine that the general uh, public will like that, in the long run at least. So Ken Blakesley is the man who put it all together, um, managed to bring in all of these apps and gizmos. And honestly, if you've ever seen the man's front room, you'll realise that he was the perfect person to do this because it is literally bursting at the seams with all sorts of amazing little bits of technology that you wouldn't expect to find. And um, he was... Uh, Exhausted, but I think quite pleased with the session overall. Well, I thought it was pretty good because, I, I mean, you know, I like gadgets and I've got lots of them and I've got drawers full of them actually and some of them I just buy them or I have them given to me or whatever and I try them and I said, oh, that would have been a nice idea, but it doesn't connect, it doesn't, it's not part of a bigger thing, it's not valuable. I think what we, what we showed today, I hope, was that these are actually enabling elements of something. It's, it's, it's industry changing and it changes the way consumers uh, view uh, content that they really enjoy and find entertaining. It was nice to see the audience coming back to, you know, coming to the front of the session rather than just dashing for the doors. Um, so you had a chance to mingle with some of the people who were sitting in the audience. What kind of feedback did you get from them? Well, I mean, I had very good feedback and that same thing that, that um, uh, I think we could have done more, but it's a 90 minute, it's a, it was a good uh, scratching of the surface, I think. And just seeing the interaction with, with the all of the people that participated that up on stage and so on uh, tells me that my objective of people to go away with whole new areas that they needed to know more about and some of them frantically trying to get some of that out of the, the people before the se at the end of the session. Uh, I think it achieved my objective. And, yeah. well, for me, the really exciting thing about the kinds of gizmos and gadgets that we're seeing, called gizmos and gadgets now, is that that tag that they're sort of aspirational and they've got no real place or functionality in, in the real world that we live in day by day, that's kind of gone now. We're seeing these apps and gizmos, things like the, the, the augmented reality um, and mind play, you know, controlling things with your brain for different outcomes, that's not sci-fi anymore. That's actually today and, you know, I see applications. And this technical get-up that we're, we're talking here, you know, I want one. It's going to make reporting out in the field much easier. And to be honest, the quality, um, especially if you're producing for the web, um, the quality as we've seen is quick and it's, it's perfectly adequate. So I think altogether a very exciting session. My first IBC as well, so uh, I'm very pleased to be here. This is Kate Russell signing off from IBC 2011.